Uh, today we're going to take a look at the P67A-UD4 motherboard from Gigabyte. Uh, the board has quite a few features uh, uh, compared to last generation. Some of those are the 333 design, which is essentially USB 3.0, SATA 3, and of course uh, uh, USB extra power through your ports if you want to power up devices like iPhones, those kinds of devices. The new theme, of course, has changed uh, from the last generation. It's no longer blue. We have It's now black with uh, gunmetal gray heat sinks. Uh, this generation supports the socket LGA 1155 Intel processors. That would be the next generation, Core i3, i5, and i7, 800 series. Uh, Intel QuickSync, for example, unfortunately, is not supported on these boards. Uh, future generation H67s and Z series will. On these boards here, you basically are uh, going to be given benefit of just the raw processing power of Sandy Bridge. It offers 12 phase uh, dual circuit CPU VRM uh, components. What that does is increase uh, durability and uh, essentially help uh, increase the uh, lifespan of those same components that support the power the processor needs. Also, uh, this features an Intel approved InterSIL PWM controller. The new serial VID uh, controller just adds better power management between the CPU and VRM controller. Uh, the offset benefit is better efficiency, uh, using less power when it doesn't need to, etc. Also, it, it implemented a few new uh, circuits in, within under here that we can't quite get a close look at, but it's a driver MOSFETs is what they're, what uh, Gigabyte has called it. It's an integrated driver IC and supporting MOSFETs. And what that does is it shrinks the components, uh, frees up some of the real estate around the CPU socket. The board also offers a dual hybrid EFI BIOS, so it supports uh, the three terabyte uh, configuration that some users need. It uses the standard previous generation layout for BIOS, which uh, for quite a few users is going to be uh, really, really familiar. Uh, other things that this uh, board supports are uh, Turbo X HD uh, Auto RAID 0 configuration, and that's through the the P67 chipset itself. It supports, of course, uh, two-way SLI, uh, NVIDIA SLI, and in ATI Crossfire X configurations. Uh, Dolby Home Theater makes another return to the audio, and one of the uh, supporting features of the uh, Realtek codec, it's, uh, audio codec it's using, is uh, it offers a Blu-ray 108 dB S uh, signal noise ratio playback for Blu-ray. So essentially, uh, your movie should be really nice and clear. Uh, also, Smart 6 software report returns uh, with a ton of features, uh, a little extras that you might want to, that you probably end up wanting to use. Uh, a couple of those features include Cloud OC and Hotkey OC. Cloud OC for those who want to do a quick, uh, want to use their mobile phone to do a cool overclocking trick from just the, uh, from some distance away. And of course, Hotkey OC is pre-configured BIOS uh, configurations. Uh, so while your system's running, if you want to do a quick overclock, you just press a single press of the button. You can activate the profile. Uh, go from somewhat overclock to extreme overclock. So somewhat new to this here that helps uh, the efficiency of this system is hardware over voltage control IC. Basically real-time voltage control without the GPIO controller delay that uh, was uh, apparent in previous generations. You can see the six SATA ports uh, on the one side, uh, SATA 2 and SATA 3, SATA 3 in the white. This uh, platform supports up to 2133 MHz DDR3, uh, best use if you're using X XMP profiles. Uh, the I.O. area, we have two USB, uh, standard serial port, your uh, SPDIF and uh, uh, coaxial out. Uh, Hybrid USB and eSATA ports uh, with extra USB 2.0 ports, and of course the two blue included um, here in the back, that's your USB 3, and uh, standard analog out for your 7.1 channel uh, speaker configurations, uh, single integrated Realtek NIC.
We want to take a look at the, the bundle now. Inside the box here, we have a standard IO shield, four blue uh, SATA cables. A couple of these are 90 degree for those folks that like to have those mounted off the side here, clean up your system. Your standard uh, NVIDIA SLI uh, bridge here and uh, crossfire, a little flexible one here that comes in handy for those cards that are shaped a little differently. Your standard user's manual, uh, multi-language installation guide, your notes, and of course, driver's disk, uh, most likely with uh, little older drivers, so once you get the software installed, uh, it might be time to do some up updating off their website. We'll uh, be giving this one a spin on our very, uh, roundup, which will be launching very soon. Thank you very much for watching.